The British lines are up and running with a comprehensive win over Western Force. The boys set the bar against the Barbarians and for us tonight it was about taking it to that next level and I think we did that. Um, you know, I think we, I thought we were clinical. That's Wales and Lions star Lee Halfpenny. I'm Jeff Collins. You're listening to Rugby Nation's Lions special. The Lions kicked off the tour last Saturday in the searing heat of Hong Kong. Nine Welsh players started the game as the Lions tore apart the Barbarians, running in eight tries in a 59-8 victory. Ahead of the midweek game against Western Force, head coach Warren Gatland warned the rest of the squad they'd have to force their way into the team. I know that they've got to go and perform, so from the, the coaching aspect, from the coaches you know you couldn't ask any better in terms of a, of a start and and the motivation for the other other players coming in to perform the nine Welsh players included against the Barbarians had a standout game with Alex Cuthbert scoring two tries, Jonathan Davis and Jamie Roberts outstanding in midfield, as was the all-Welsh back row of Justin Tipperick, Toby Falatau and Dan Lydiot. Lions scrum half Mike Phillips was man of the match, scoring two tries in that game. He says it's an enormous privilege to pull on the famous red shirt again. When you play alongside these world-class players and... Uh... You know, it's, it's, it's very humbling and uh, it's, it's such a massive honour. And you, you look at the players that have worn the shirt before you, I mean, it's, you know, it's, uh, it's incredible. It's a dream come true and, um, you know, it's, uh, you have to pinch yourself. The Lions had to play in really terrible conditions with heat and humidity. They lost more than four pounds in weight during that game and Captain Paul O'Connor admits it was a tough workout. It's just hard to recover. Whatever it is about the heat or the humidity, it was just very hard to recover. Generally, you know, you'd be huffing and puffing, but you get a break for a scrum or a line-out and you, and you recover and the heart rate goes back down. That just didn't seem to be the case. After the game in Hong Kong to warm up for the series, the Lions flew into Australia to face Western Force in Perth in their opening game. Here's how that arrival was reported by Channel 10 News in Australia. The British and Irish Lions say they'll be ruthless in their three test series against the Wallabies, but they'll first face the Western Force in a warm-up match on Wednesday night. And as Tim Hipsley found out, they're a big deal. The Lions have arrived. <laughs> A rock star reception for the 37-man squad at the crack of dawn this morning. The tour kind of feels as though it's truly begun. Now that we've landed on Australian soil. That's Brian O'Driscoll who captained the Lions in that opening game against Western Force, which saw the Lions again run out comfortable winners. They ran in nine tries, winning 69-17. Lee Halfpenny showing sensational form and kicking 24 of their points. Head coach Warren Gatlin, though, knows they didn't beat a full-strength team in this match. You know, we've got to make sure that intensity we're going to meet in Brisbane that first test. If, like I said, we're not getting it in games like tonight, we're going to have to do a little bit extra and and maybe do a bit of full-on stuff at training. Next up, Queensland Reds on Saturday. Lions captain Sam Warburton will finally get a chance to pull on the famous jersey. He's recovered from a knee injury and was named in the team to play the Reds. Paul O'Connell and Brian O'Driscoll had skipped the side in the opening two games and Warburton says he can't wait to lead the Lions out for the first time. It's been tough to watch the last two games so knowing um, that the players have got their jerseys in the bag and their kit bags to take home with them and I haven't got one yet so just dying to get on the pitch on Saturday. Um, yeah, couldn't come quick enough. Warburton will be in familiar company as part of an all-Welsh back row alongside Dan Lydiot and Toby Falatau, who are so pivotal in Wales' run to the semi-finals of the World Cup and the 2012 Six Nations Grand Slam. Three other Welsh players will take part as well. Gethin Jenkins gets his first outing on tour, and in the backs, Alex Cuthbert and Jonathan Davis will get their second game of the tour. Rugby Nation's Sean Holly says it should be a much tougher test for the Lions. Well, it should be a step up, Jeff. You know, you're right, very disappointed in the team that the Western Force put out in the first game for the Lions on Australian soil. And the Barbars didn't really put up much of a performance either in Hong Kong. And the conditions prevailed. You know, really, when you go to Queensland, then, um, you know, you play against the Queensland Reds, it really should be a step up. And with the likes of Quaid Cooper in their midst, and, uh, of course, you know, some other talented young Australians that are pushing for that Wallaby, Wallaby squad, then it'll be a, a, a much sterner test for the Lions this Saturday. Now, of course, you're going to be out there in Australia for Rugby Nation. Uh, how excited are you about arriving there and, and, and getting into that atmosphere? Well, extremely excited. You know, can't wait to, to get out there, get amongst the, the Lions supporters and, of course, the Lions players and coaches themselves. We've got three very special Rugby Nation Down Under shows, uh, of which, you know, of course, we'll be broadcasting from uh, the various test venues. And it's going to be so exciting because the crescendo is obviously the test series and Rugby Nation will be right in amongst it. Now, of course, the Lions have trained and prepared long and hard for this tour, as with Wales ahead of the Six Nations. Before the Lions left for Australia, they used cryotherapy treatment on the players to try to improve their fitness. Here's Andy Pellini. My job is uh, to operate the cryotherapy unit. 
It's instead of ice baths, and we, we, we take the uh, temperatures down to minus 140. So what we have here, we have, a, we have the tanker to feed the back of the cryo unit. The clothing before they can go in the unit is, is crop shoes, socks, and then we have knee pads, shorts, elbow pads, gloves, hat, and mask. When they've had a really hard training session, um, it relaxes all the muscles um, and, and freshens the, the lads up again. I've been in it myself, yes, I try to go in it every other day. It gives you a good night's sleep. Um, really recommend it, yeah, yeah, yeah. After Saturday's game against the Queensland Reds, games against the combined New South Wales-Queensland Country and the New South Wales Waratahs and ACT Brumbies will follow before the first test in Brisbane on Saturday the 22nd of June. For that first test, Melbourne Rebels star James O'Connor is the favourite to wear the gold number 10 jersey against the Lions. He's played 36 of his 37 tests, though, on the wing or at fullback. His only test at fly half was in the Wallabies' win against Wales in their post-World Cup match in Cardiff at the end of 2011. He said Says he's looking forward to the series. Every time you're involved with the Wallabies or pulling that gold jersey, it's it's a it's a massive opportunity and an honour. But uh, in saying that, yeah, exactly. We've got the Lions comes around every 12 years, so sort of you have to be born in the right place at the right time. So lucky enough, the guys in camp are uh, we're here and we're starting it off. I think every time you step up that level, you know, um, everyone's sort of competing a little bit more, and I guess the standards are just raised. Um, I guess you're, you're playing with some of the best or the best sort of players in Australia. We've got a, a massive task ahead, so everyone's on focus and everyone wants the best out of each other. I guess, to be honest, you can't really predict exactly what their style of rugby is going to be, but uh, if you look at the head coach, obviously, with Welsh background, you can sort of, and you look at sort of the team that they've picked in, in that first sort of Barbarians fixture, um, obviously, I think it's going to be dominated by sort of English and uh, the Welsh players. Um, so they play a sort of very physical sort of game. They do play field position um, and love their set piece, but in saying that, you know, they've got some good ball players and they've got a good mix in that midfield. Yeah, look, the reality is uh, look, coaches choose the team. Uh, but look, very excited. Uh, I've had, uh, you know, I've enjoyed my Super Rugby this year. Obviously, coming off an injury last year, didn't get to play any Test Rugby, which was, uh, which was pretty tough. You know, it was a, uh, probably one of the last sort of points in my career to date. But you know, I'm in a good headspace at the moment, and uh, the team environment's uh, it's really up. You know. Rugby Nation Lions Watch. There'll be a Rugby Nation Lions down under special ahead of each of the three tests. We'll be hearing from Sean Holly and Shane Williams, who are in Australia following the tour. You've been listening to Rugby Nation.